Atlanta, Georgia, December 2nd, DeAndre Swift, photo by Jamie Squire, Getty Images, it sounds hard to believe but it's probably true. Georgia football could go into its summer camps with an even deeper crop of running backs than it had in 2017. While Sony Michel and Nick Chubb were high draft picks, UGA could have five legitimate backs who could start for other SEC teams. DeAndre Swift showed last year that he's ready to shoulder the load. Elijah Holyfield looks like a player that is poised for a breakout in his junior year. Brian Harrion also looked really good in spring training this year. That's three guys who were on the roster in 2017, all of whom should be better this upcoming year. Samir White arrived in Athens in January and has been making headlines ever since. Sure, he hasn't been able to practice after knee surgery. But his recovery seems to be coming along really well. There's a really good chance that he can actually start his season if UGA want him to. With those four already on campus, Georgia already has one of the strongest running back groups in the nation. It has two juniors who will be desperate to make this the year where they finally see the field more. They have arguably the best sophomore running back in the entire nation, a player who took snaps away from two legends. Lastly, they have the best freshman running back in the 2018 class, the highest-ranked RBUGA have signed in decades. But there's another player who will step foot on campus in June. James Cook is the younger brother of FSU legend and Minnesota Viking Dalvin Cook. He's also the most forgotten member of the 2018 recruiting class right now although that's probably going to change in just a few short weeks. Page 2 Use your arrows to browse Positina, CA, January 1st, running back Sony Michelle like most great running backs, it wasn't really fair letting James Cook loose against high school kids. While he is clearly a pretty slight guy right now, his pace and explosiveness is clear. Cook doesn't have the power that his brother or Zamir White have but he's shiftier than both, he's a different kind of back to both of them. He's much more Darren Sproles or Christian McCaffrey than he is Adrian Peterson. During his senior season Cook wasn't the workhorse that you see form a lot of high school stars. He only touched the ball 100 times on offense so he comes into Athens pretty fresh. He accounted for just under 9 yards per play every time he touched the ball so it's clear that he can make explosive plays. Those stats don't really tell the whole story however. As good as Cook was in high school, he really flashed what he could do at the All-American game in January. His rushing touchdown was very reminiscent of a certain guy who used to wear number one for UGA. He read the block, bounced outside and then accelerated for the TD. The second one was even more impressive but this time it was through the air. Cook slipped out of the backfield, found a hole in the defense and caught a low pass for he TD. It's that sort of versatility as well as the kickoff returns, we saw that could make him really dangerous at the next level. Use your arrows to browse.